Okay, so our next talk today um, is from, I'm just going to call him Kitty Yu today because that's what I know I'm on GitHub. So Kitty was one of our, uh, I, I suppose our first members that really tried to push the functional side of the OCA and has been very active in there. He's the founder of Ecosoft. He's talking to us today from Thailand. Um, and he's going to talk to us about using Excel files as a template to um, build powerful import exports and report actions. So I'll hand it over to you, Kitty, now, and I'll be quiet. Okay, thank you very much. So I, I guess I will start. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the first talk for me for, for the OCA event. And I would like to take this opportunity first to say thank you to all the people in the OCA. Uh, personally, I feel very grateful to, to, the, to the community. And obviously, I have been using a lot of tools from the community as well. So I think today, uh, I would like to, to talk about one of the tools that I have been developing. And I think it is the, the tools that uh, could be useful for many people. Actually, the name of the tool is called Excel Import Export. And if you go into the, to the OCA shop, uh, the App Store, and obviously, if you click to, to see the number of downloads, uh, it's quite one of the popular downloads. But uh, in my opinion, I think maybe the reason that this module is downloaded a lot is because of the word Excel. Maybe people want to use Excel to do something. But I think I, uh, from, from my experience, I don't see a lot of people talking about this module yet. So I'm thinking that maybe because people may just download it and may not know how to use it yet. So I, I would like to take this opportunity to maybe explain to you guys about this tool. Okay? Okay. So I think everyone may know that we already have uh, an Excel generator, right? Uh, I think most of people may be using uh, the, the, the report engine called import XLSX, right? You, you know, I think everyone knows it. Also, you have the, the uh, really good module called report XLSX, right? And so why do we need it? Another one. Why do we need another Excel generator? Uh, actually, personally, I, I also use report XLSX. To, to do a lot of my work, to do a lot of report that we use also. So I also like it and, and use it a lot. Uh, but there was in one of the project that uh, we have been requested by a lot by the customer to use, to, to produce a lot of Excel reports in a very short period of time. So that time we try, we try the tools that OC already provided but uh, I think the time is not enough and the ease of use is not enough for us to generate a lot of, a lot of report at a short period of time. So that is the first point. And the second point, uh, we have also the request to, uh, in the project, we have the, uh, the use case that user want to use a budget planning, but they are the user outside of Odoo system, right? So in a big organization, maybe they have like thousands of people, a thousand of users. Every one of them have to use the Excel to plan the budget for the year, all right? And then after they're planning it, then we have to eventually import it into the Odoo, the budgeting system that we developed. So that is the use case. These are the two use cases that have brought us, brought us to create the new tools. All right, so let's see how, how normal our generator works. If you see from, from, the, from this picture, uh, normally all, all the tools that create the uh, Excel, like report XLSX, of course, uh, they generally use the code, right? So they have some code and uh, directly from the code, maybe use Python library and then they generate the file from scratch, like from the code, just create a file by itself. So this is the way normal, normal report generator works. Right? Maybe there are some, some helpers 
for the tools to make it a little bit easier, life a little bit easier. But still, in my opinion, uh, at the time, we, we still think that it's not easy enough to produce a whole lot of reports for, for the project, right? So we have come up with something else. So, uh, so this is another way of, of thinking. So we know that we have to create the good looking forms as well. So why don't we start from, from designing the template that is good looking by the Excel. And then we combine it with some instruction, some easy instruction written by in dictionaries. It can be used for both export and import. And then combining the data together and it will produce the Excel as a result. Okay, so this is another way, it's a different way of working with the Excel. And so we call this uh, as a Excel import export, but generally it also used for the reporting as well. Okay, okay. Uh, let me explain to you a little bit about how it works. So generally it has a, the template, correct? And then we have the, the dictionary instruction. It has an export, uh, export element that is going to, to tell that the ex, to export the data into the first sheet uh, with the result set uh, like, as a record set into which fields in Excel. If you can see this, A4 means the field A4, right? B4, C4, and D4. And then we just produce uh, recurring it, right? And then we can just use the, the technique of the OIM to, to get any data from the record set, okay? And then everything else in the Excel will be preserved. Okay, so now you can see that the very important thing about this is the template, all right? Uh, the next slide, uh, this is the, the face of the template, okay? So the template is essentially the things that keep, keep both Excel file and the instruction together, right? The instruction that you made it in the dictionary it will be nicely converted into the screen so that the average user can go in and make change. Uh, make, they can make change on both template and make change on both the, the instruction and they can produce the result immediately. Okay, so I would say that the template is the core engine of, of the whole module, right? Uh, for this module, actually, we try to make it uh, uh, simple enough that it can be reused to, to, to be used in any other tools. If you look inside, uh, if you have only two main methods that is working. So the first method is uh, the export XLSX. So it is combining the template that, that you have stored and you have to tell it the model of the data and the record as a record set. Right, combining together, it will produce the result from this function is the Excel report. Also the same similar things on the import side, uh, you can specify the file, the file that is imported uh, with the template and the model, and the data can be inserted back from, from, from the Excel into the, into the Odoo, right? Uh, actually, the, it has only two main methods, but, but for the reporting purpose, Eventually, when I, when I did this, it became clear that it is just another type of exporting the data. So we combine it together, but we put uh, another useful method that is easy to use called reporting of SX. So mainly in the, in the, in the nutshell, in inside, it has only these three, three methods that is working, okay? Okay, so I think I, I have given some uh, information about how how the concept works for this. Let's drive into the demo. Okay, so today I will explain maybe two demos. But if you go into the module itself, I have a demo module also. So I try to keep adding more and more uh, examples so that people can start using it by looking at the same example. Okay, so the first example I want to show is about the uh, import of the purchase order, export of the purchase order and importing it back, right? So this is the screen, uh, graph screen on how, how we'll be working. So we'll be creating two actions and then 
uh, we'll be importing some things. Okay, let me show you the real example first before I come back and talk a little bit more about how we do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's say we, this is how it works first. Okay. So after we have installed, every, everything is we have done. So we can immediately go into the, uh, the, the record, any record that we want to work on. Then we, we already created the action. So let's try to ex export this screen as an Excel first. And you can see that on the template, we actually can have multiple templates to work on. So we just fit the template with the instruction as I told you before. Okay, then we can export, export the file. And one, one good thing about it is that you can decide, as I told you, we can decide any type of the Excel, the look and feel can be very, very beautiful, it's up to you, you know. This is the result of the, the export itself. And for example, if I would like to change something, for example, I, I may like delete something or I may change uh, the number, something, and then I save it back, all right? Uh, this is number 17. Then I can potentially import it, it back into the system, okay? And then if you refresh back the things, just like that. Okay, so this is the first use case that we use. Uh, from the, the inside, from the, uh, at the back, what it does is, uh, I, I will bring you to the, the template screen so that you can see that it is the, the something that we have, we can set up and we can change it right here. So this is the example that I did, which is purchase order template, okay? So in the code that we did, I will show you later, uh, after we, we have loaded it, uh, we will import, uh, we will have this kind of dictionary that we imported, right? So I will ex explain briefly. So at first we have the export instruction. Let's say export into purchase, purchase tab in the, in the sheet, the name of the sheet, all right? And the header is the purchase order itself. Uh, we can use any ORM technique, you know, we can even you know, use Python code here so that we can manipulate the data that we have. Uh, actually, the, the limit, limit of it is a Python code. You know? So you, whatever the Python code can do, so you can do here, right? Uh, on the other line, we start from B22, uh, and then we export the things out, out okay? And if you can see this, uh, we have the quality, but if we, we want to say that if the quality is false, then we show the zero. Maybe we have some style, you know, because we want to make it look pretty like a US dollar or something like that. So we have styles and numbers, something like that, okay? Similarly, on the import side, it works almost the same way. So we want to import the data from purchase sheet in Excel. And we want to import data starting from B22, right? If you can see this, into the, the field, uh, the, the one, one too many fields or the line, all right? So I think this, this explains you uh, already what, how, how does it work, okay? Okay, let's bring you back a little bit. Okay, so this, this then we, we can work it this way, all right? Uh, any format of Excel is possible right now with, with these tools. Uh, we, uh, the way we work, the way we create it, just very, very simple things that we do, like create an action like this. Just make sure you inher inherit the user model export XRSX like this, okay? And specify the template that you want to use to be the, the default one. Okay, the second part is very simple, just write down the, uh, the instruction like this, okay? And, and create the, the template like this and combine it together and as a as an add-on module, right? Actually, that is all the steps that we need to do to create the, the thing that I, I showed to you previously, okay? Okay, that is the first example. Let me show you a little bit on the second example that will be uh, different use case because this is more like a, making a report, but the concept is still the same, okay? So I just show you really fast uh, on, the, on the Excel report, okay? Okay, I have some like demos. So the, if, if, let me show you the, the template first as we are here. So this is the, the template of the Excel, uh, the report that we did, 
Okay, so we just we don't have the import, right? Of course, we only have the export and export to the header, export to the line. Okay, uh, let me show you how it works. So this is the, the sample, the one. We can have the, the nice uh, criteria screen you know, for, for search. Uh, when we execute a report, then we got the things we want. Okay, like this. Okay, this is just a very simple case. So the thing I want to point out to you, if you can see this, you can now start to think that right now the Excel, uh, the, the possibility of using Excel is limitless, right? So you can do anything, some fancy thing like this, for example, uh, you can make like the graph. This is the, the report that I get the data from the lead, the, the demo data, okay? So we just execute the report. Oops. Like this, okay. So we can do something more fancy, like this is something that is very possible with using these tools. These two. Okay, okay. I bring you back to to the presentation. Okay, so this is the second one that I show you, and if we go into more detail about how to make it, the the Excel report, it it is a little bit more coding. You know, because we need to to populate uh, to get the data also, right? So make sure that we we create a new model and we we inherit uh, uh, the XLSX report object, right? And then we can make the compute as normal that we do and put this is the the compute uh, uh, method that put the data that we search for into the result set, and this is the result set that we put it on the Excel. Okay, I hope this is not too difficult. Uh, then we just create uh, actions and the menu as, as normal, as normal as we do. Uh, finally, we, we have the templates and we have the, the, the dictionary as instruction. And if you look at, at the bottom down here, it's uh, the place where we say we load the, 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 the template into the Odoo, right? Okay, that's it. That is a really simple case that, that we, we did, okay? Okay, uh, so I think from the presentation, what I, I try to, to do is to, to try to explain the, the main concept of how it works. Uh, after this, you can, you can think about it. How can you make it work for you? Uh, it has some, some flow, of course, because uh, first of all, it, it's, uh, the good thing about this is that it uses a very little or no Python code at all, as you can see. So we just focus on maintaining the template. Right, and understand the OI and how it works, you know, so that we can use it. Uh, essentially, it just fill in the data into Excel, and it does nothing else. So the Excel feature will be preserved. No, there, there are also some some corn also. So there's something that is still not not very really good yet. Uh, if if you compare with the Excel generator that use Python code, of course, uh, it may have some limitation because it normally work work for for work with the uh, the one too many fields, something like that, you know, to make uh, the, good, uh, the the report. Okay, so it actually need need to have some more improvement uh, in terms of the use case uh, for for the to work with the UI easier, right? So something to do for me is uh, to make it more user friendly. Uh, actually, I I also did some something about the user friendly. Something we can add it, and we have already added, for example, that uh, on the template itself. We can. We already have the in the version 13. We already have the easy reporting things, so that you can immediately, directly. You don't need to code anything. You just go into the template. You create the new one, and you can uh, choose the report uh, report model that you want to use, right? And then add it onto the menu, and it's already become the the, the report for you, right? So this is something that uh, we gradually try to improve it. But uh, I, I understand that it's still not uh, at, uh, not there yet. That we want we want to make it very easy to use. Okay, so this is something that will be possible now, right? So we can create uh, Excel template or Excel worksheet that preserve fill in the data, but still preserve everything else, like the drop down list, everything. You know, uh, we can create something like like beautiful, beautiful that. You, you can can just imagine that it, this cannot be done by other tools. Okay, okay. 
So uh, I don't know how to, maybe I answer the question later on, right? So before the, the fin finishing, I just want to uh, say thank you to, to all of you guys, the, the OCA team, uh, the board, uh, Rebecca, everyone, I think you guys are uh, excellent. And uh, for myself, I'm quite happy that I have been knowing OCA. And then we, we try to work more and more with the OCA, but uh, let's see how, how we can go. So if you are interested in the module, you can go on and check it out from the server tools, server tools repository. Uh, but for the version 13, right now it's still still on the pull request. So if you are interested, uh, you can go in, make a test and uh, give more comments, you know, so that we can improve it better. All right. Okay. Let me check some chat. Maybe we have something. Okay. From from here, right? Oh, from here. From Zoom. Okay. Oh, that's, okay. that's, that's made me very large for everybody. I, I hope you're all enjoying the, the rapid change of scene. Um, yeah. So that, that was a fantastic talk, Kitty, and there's been lots and lots of stuff going on on the chat in the meantime. Um, I've got one question here from Luigi Gregory. He's, he's just asked a question, and I think it was a couple of slides back. Um, so you might just want to share your screen again, that he hasn't understood how you limit the one-to-many lines that are read. Um, something to do with oh, okay. information positioning. So perhaps if you can jump back to that. Okay. So you mean uh, like like this, right? Sorry. Like this, right? One too many lines. Do you mean the limiting the, the number of lines, right? Well, I'm not sure I, that. The second hand, if, Lu, if Luigi is there, I think what I might do is I might unmute him and allow him to ask his question directly. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes, you're there. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well. Uh, okay. Uh, I I see. Uh, what I haven't understood is uh, as as you see I, I how you can uh, define the. Um, uh, if, uh, if you have uh, several one too many blocks uh, uh, of uh, of lines, or where you put the totals, okay. If uh, there is a line where you in the template you can see you can say this is the start the total lines and so on. Mm -hmm. What is oh, the question? So you mean how you can limit the number of lines that appear on the spreadsheet? Oh, okay, that's easy. Uh, actually, you can do this. Let me uh, just show you some of the code, if you don't mind. Uh, let's say if you have, for example, you want to export to the Excel, right? And then, you, of course, you we may not know that how many lines it has. So you can just put it like this. You can see my screen, no? If you want to limit 100 lines, you do it like this. Okay. That's all, yeah. Both yes. import and export, it will work. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, actually, this is done on uh, version 13 only. Also, the version 12. I think I didn't have this one yet. Okay. 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 Uh, well, Thank you. Um, what one suggestion that's come through? Sorry, did that answer your question, there, Luigi? No, no other question. Thank you very much. No, okay. No Hello, very thank much. you. Thank you. Yeah, and if you have a question, please go up. Help me review the PR, then I will, I will answer more questions. <laughs> so, um, Thank you. The, 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 so, Kitty, just before you pop off, there has been a suggestion here. Someone's um, suggested that you might want to add an option to convert your um, Excel reports to PDF. Yeah. To PDF? PDF. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will think about it. Thank you yeah. for the suggestion. All right, we'll just give it another 30 seconds. If anyone's got any more questions, we do have some time. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Looking at the feedback and looking at some of those screenshots, it looks very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so
So I think actually what what we what I think in my opinion I think it it uh, the concept itself is quite for uh, I think it's quite okay it's quite good. Uh, but the thing that I I think I still need to improve it. For example, right now we have uh, we can create like a report like this, right? Uh, we can add something. We can convert to CSV. Maybe in the future we convert into PDF. Maybe uh, we can have a easy reporting. Uh, we can say that uh, report. For example, we can you know like add any kind of the report, and then we save it. Uh, we save it like this. And uh, over here we we include. The, the file that anything that you do you, you have the template right whatever this is just just a test uh, if you see this when you save it it you immediately have uh, create some some of the placeholder to to keep the result and you can keep adding more more things like to a to oh no no to be to uh, name uh, you have like c2 amount and essentially, you can like add more style here. Uh, then after you finish, you can like add it onto the menu, and it will immediately show you show you on the menu report here, you know. And then you can start working on on it. Maybe I execute it. It will be earlier because I just case the name. No? Okay, maybe we can just try. Yeah, this is some earlier. But if you input the the correct uh, field, I think it will be working. This is something that that uh, I try to make more so that it will be more more user friendly because it has potential, but the, the user friendly is still not there. Like you have to add the style by yourself, you know, something like that. Yeah, this is what what I think. So if anyone interested, then you can join and help improve it also. Okay. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much. And thank you very much for taking the okay. time to talk to, us all, to all of us today, Kitty. And I look forward to seeing you around the, um, I guess, the OCA days. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you.